Hey everybody, what is going on? So you're working in Moho Pro 12 and you want to know how to create pretty smooth arm bends like this one right here. Okay, so you see how everything's smooth. It's not getting deformed like uh, your guys probably is. No offense, but yeah, let's just get into it. I'm going to teach you how to make an arm just like this so it bends nice and pretty. Okay, let's get into it. First thing you want to do is go into your vector layer of the character and create two shapes. These are going to be basic ovals. I'm not really going to worry about uh, making things nice and pretty right now. We're just going to get the shapes that we need and then we're going to adjust them later. Okay, so put this point closer to that bone and then we're going to put this point closer to that shoulder point. Okay, now that you have all that, we're going to make a new shape right here. Let's see, a new shape right here. Okay, this is how we're going to get the smooth arm bend. Okay, so click and drag using Alt to expand it from the middle, and we want this. We want the width of the circle to be the same width as arm, approximately. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to click on the circle that we just made change it to a bright color and something that's not used in the program so green is a nice color to use and then turn off the stroke it's going to make things easier after we have that what we're going to do is get the uh, get the curves of these little arms right here these very messed up arms we want to get these curves to match the curve of the circle so basically we're going to use these two curves. We're going to use these points that we have for the circle and we're going to match it to the circle. That makes sense. Don't listen to what I'm saying. Just watch what I'm doing. So now I have that point selected. I'm going to use the curvature tool and I always like to have the bezier curves match the bezier curves as a circle. This makes things a lot more easier. Okay, I'm going to add a point right here and a point right here. And then we're going to give those curves. After that, just make sure the bezier curves match the bezier curves of the circle. As long as you do that, you're going to be good. Okay. So that side is done. Let's do the next side. Add a point right here. And let's turn off sharp corners. Add a point right here. And then just match up the handles once again. So this is off. This needs to be closer. This is off. Let's be closer and down this. Okay, so now that we got that, we're going to fix it up a little bit because obviously this doesn't look like a, this doesn't look like a nice arm. My opinion anyway. Okay, we want it to be a nice transition from this part to this part. If I move the circle right here, you can see that it's not really that good. Okay, so just working it a bit more. I'm going to select all these points right here and scale it up. I'm going to hold Alt to scale it from the middle. Just make that a little bit bigger. Now we have that, move it up just a little bit so I can match the same uh, the same height as this right here. And just adjust the points a little bit to make this arm look as nice as possible.
Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Everything looks is looking better. No doubt. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the shoulder. So again, make a new shape. Let's make a circle. Expand it from the middle. And that should be good enough right there. We're going to click on the circle, get rid of the stroke. And now we just want the curves to match the curve of the circle. Okay, so line this up to that point right there. And you can see how this, this point right here doesn't need to be aligned with the circle because it's not, it's not touching the circle. It's coming off of the circle. Okay. So don't worry about that point right there, but these, this curve that you're seeing right here, this needs to be aligned with the circle or else it's going to mess things up. So that being said, we're going to drag this point all the way up here. So we don't have to create a new point, adjust this a little bit. And like I said, the whole thing doesn't need to match the circle. Like this curve right here doesn't exactly need to be touching this curve, but anything that's going to be inside it or bending basically needs to be touched. Okay. You guys are going to see. Anyway, now what I'm going to do is click on this circle scale it down and I'm holding alt to scale it from the middle and make it pretty small same thing with this one click and hold alt scale it down from the middle make it pretty small and now we go into the bone layer make sure that the start of this bone the tip of this bone is inside that circle and the end the beginning of this bone is inside the circle as well going to do the same thing for these so make sure the tip of this bone is inside of that circle and the start of this bone is inside of the circle as well okay now all we have to do is some quick bone binding so alt click on this bone to select it drag the or er, select these top points right here for the shoulder bind points we're going to alt click on this bone to select it shift click and alt click to deselect these ones because they've already been binded to a different bone bone we're going to click bind points alt click on this bone click on the uh, lower arm bind points and now you can see we go in here and we try to bend the bones that looks pretty good okay so everything looks pretty good only thing you would want to do from here is use the hide edge tool, hide all of these. Oops. So hide these, go up, maybe hide that. And now you can see Let's see. Okay. So if you use a hide edge tool and you can't tell right now, but maybe just move this bone to the bottom. Okay, so this edge right here is hidden. We need to unhide that and then move this uh, shape back to the top. Now you can see we try to bend the bones. Everything looks good. Okay, so these are smooth bones, smooth bends. Okay, the only way you would get this shoulder, the only way you would get this shoulder to look nice is to add a smart bone. And I'm gonna do that in a different video. But for now, we have the arms looking nice. You can bend them. Let me just do something real quick.
Okay, so it looks nice. I hope this video helps. See you guys later.